What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about and something really cool that I always wanted when I was running my shop. Um, uh, the idea was when if you have a website and you have a place where it says the schedule an appointment, uh, when your customer schedule an appointment, it goes to your email, and then you gotta come back here and add it manually. Uh, the idea was what if uh, that the customer can uh, make an appointment uh, from your website and then send it directly to VIP. Um, uh, we are going to be doing that. We just did that. Uh, bear in mind to do this it requires so much work and so much um, requires so many servers because it will crash. Uh, the idea is there are so many people who are going to go on, on the same website at the same time. But anyway, let's talk about it, see how it works. Uh, the first step, number one, uh, before I want to talk about this, let me talk about something even more, even more important, just not just you, uh, assuming that you don't have a website. If you go on uh, google.com and you search for your business, if you look at my business right here, it says appointments and, and there's a link next to it. So even if you don't have a website, basically you can uh, you can uh, register a link. You can put a link there and where your customer can make an appointment and it will directly uh, go to your uh, VIP. The idea is how can we get new customers from Google straight to VIP um, to do so to add this link right here uh, you will you will need to first of all you will need a, a link so let's uh, let's talk about how do you get the link first of all uh, so to get the link you gotta be eligible the only uh, customers that are eligible for the links uh, are cloud members and uh, if you have or if you are on the one-time payment um, you gotta have both uh, subscription, not just one, text messaging and online ordering. It's the only way, because this is, like I said, this is really costly. But remember, you gotta uh, spend money to make money, and you gotta spend money to get customers. Nothing for free in this life. So if you go back to, to, to like I said, to request the URL, you gotta go to your settings and request URL for appointments. Uh, the first thing, you gotta check for eligibility, check for eligibility. In this case, it's a cloud member, so it's gonna click on request a URL, and it's gonna create a URL for you, and all you have to do is copy that URL, and we're gonna go back to here, go to your business app, go back to my business, and go to under um, info, and scroll down where it says appointment link click on that and basically paste the, the uh, paste the, um, basically paste the, the url in there um, um, i mean uh, it says under review right there so uh, uh, google is taking their time now to approve this it takes up to three days and I'm like, wow, that's a lot. So Google are, are Google are being strict uh, about certain stuff, changing stuff on your own business. But it is what it is. I mean, we're using them. There's nothing we can do about it. Not really too happy about it of having Google run everything. Uh, but like I said, when you don't have an alternative, uh, then uh, they just use it to our advantages. Uh, so yeah, so that's how you get your URL. Um, if you go back to settings and request the URL, and it's always going to be there for you to copy it. What is that URL? So once you put it there, how that work? So when your customer, let's go back to VIP Shop Management. Uh, no, sorry. When your customer, let's say your customer was on uh, looking for auto repair shop uh, near me, and uh, he's on the map. And, uh, you know, he's just looking, let's say, a bell tire. Um, it should say next to it, appointment. I don't know if they have appointment in this one. I guess not. Wow, bell tire is one of the big uh, appointments. All right, let's go back. 
let me let me search for VIP shop man. most people by the way most people are not taking advantage of this um, uh, because it's hard they don't have a website uh, they don't have a link uh, it's th those two so even if you have a website even if you have a link uh, again let's say you are up to date and you have a website and you have it says uh, click here for appointment it's gonna go through an email not with this one let's say I'm just gonna search for VIP shop management and if we look at VIP shop management, again, I don't know, where is it? It's supposed to say appointment somehow, but, but anyway, let's look at it. I know it does, it just, they're really weird lately. Google, by the way, their stuff. You don't know what the hell is going on anymore. Too much going on, but it should say something like that. Appointments, click here. When a customer clicks on that, it's gonna bring you to this website. This website is our website, it's VIP shop management website. However, your information will be up top, including your business name, uh, your, uh, your address, and your phone number. And we're gonna show you how this works, but this link is not it's not correct. So I'm just gonna copy the link I just created right now. Copy the link. And we're gonna try it. Uh, if you wanna test it, basically that's how you test it. Uh, it should pull the, your shop information. It should pull your address and your phone number automatically. Uh, the customer comes in. Keep in mind this, this is uh, can be used on the phone or a tablet doesn't matter uh, let's say mark ismail email so the first step is the customer information name and phone number and email the second step just the license plate that's it no more select the vehicle here make uh, people confused as is license plate they can go outside and grab it um, and um, that's it just select the date and the time click next let's say they're here for an all change and they can click on request an appointment and it's going to say your appointment has been requested remember we're not uh, uh we're not uh, making an appointment we are requesting an appointment making an appointment is too complicated to handle every shop because we don't know if he's busy or he's not busy we can't even take that appointment but requesting an appointment basically we're gonna bring the customer to you and you decide what to do uh, if you wanna schedule him with the time that he said or if you wanna move him to a different date that's gonna be up to you anyway so once the customer whether from his phone tablet or or uh, his computer made an appointment how would that work um, you come in here and just go to your appointment and it's empty but it's gonna pop up just like that two things gonna happen right here so basically what happened VIP check for appointment for any customers that made an appointment for your shop specifically for your shop found one brought it to you there's so much to it uh, it's like AI literally uh, brought it to you right here not just that grab the plate number that customer left uh, decoded the plate number uh, the license plate and get it ready for you. So in this case you have Mark and this is information That's his vehicle. That's his plate number and that's his he needs an appointment on Friday July 16 2021 at 12 p.m. And he needs an all change you can decline it if you click on decline It's gonna take you to send an email to that customer let him know why are you declining because you, whether you're busy or whatever the case is or you can click on accept when you click on accept, there's, it's a lot of magic going to happen. Uh, number one, VIP shop manager is going to look for that customer to check if he's an existing customer. Number two, VIP shop manager is going to check if that vehicle is already existing at our database. If the customer and the vehicle, they don't exist, VIP will add the customer and his vehicle automatically. Uh, if the customer exists and the vehicle doesn't exist, the VIP will add and the, and the vehicle automatic so we're going to check in this case we're going to click on accept checking for customer if customer exists vehicle customer and vehicle does not exist it's adding it automatically and it's adding the appointment 
and that's it done what happened with this movement if you we click on this one right here so we can see like that appointment has been added right now if we click on that um it's going to see that all change uh the phone number the name and the vehicle and the time that he chose we can confirm the appointment right here by click on the email send or by text message whatever you have and we can create a new estimate if i create a new estimate from here for the new customer that we never had before uh we can select the vehicle right here so you notice the vip added the customer automatically added the vehicle automatically and added his request automatically i mean that's brilliant uh, this is the new era of, of making an appointment uh, I love it I don't know I'm sure uh, some uh, companies have it but I don't think if they have it and this way combining the website our website and and VIP shop management so let's let's do another example uh, we're gonna try let's say the same customer came back and want to schedule an appointment for the same vehicle so let's do that I'm gonna copy the URL again. And let's say Mark is my 248-820-533. Next, it's super fast now, like, you know, license plate, next. Most people know their license plate, that they good, that's a good news. And the people don't know the license plate, they can go grab it from whatever the kid or go outside and grab it and the people don't want to put their license plate uh, you get, they get a bigger problem than just signing in i think they should be calling you for an appointment anyway um let's say we're doing four o'clock next let's say we're doing alignment he's asking for alignment i request an appointment uh, it's done we are gonna come back in here we're gonna go to our appointment is gonna pop up right out right there it's gonna say all right he needs a number appointment is we already decoded the vehicle again and we're gonna click on accept checking for customer that already exists customer and vehicle already exist and he it basically what happened in this case it only added just the appointment because it found the customer and the vehicle we're gonna click on it we're gonna click on the create a new estimate and just like that so which is really really cool I think this is a dream come true for a lot of people um, the idea of is how can we bring a new customer uh, how can we bring his information his vehicle information uh, by you not doing anything basically when you when you come in here VIP is gonna show your appointment but it's gonna check in the background for any new customer uh, back in the days you used to send the flyers uh, now we're bringing the customer to you uh, it's up to you to accept it if you can if you cannot accept it then reject it uh, tell them why and uh, take advantage but like I said you're gonna require uh, it's either the cloud members can have it or you gotta have both subscriptions the stuff cost money uh, for the people who like free stuff uh, you cannot keep going on this way you cannot get stuff for free I used to be that used to be me you gotta up, upgrade move uh, uh, you, there's nothing for free in life there's there's an idea for free there's a promotion for free but there's nothing for free um, it's gonna cost us a lot of money to be honest with you uh, the more people is gonna sign up for this the the more uh, the harder it gets but we should be good we, we're trying it out uh, I tried it from my phone I tried it from uh, uh, from my uh, tablet I tried it from my computer and it all works great um, uh, and um, you can add that link to your uh, to your website if you want I mean better than having uh, hey fill up this form and uh, thank you very much we send an email uh, you can add it and make it more legit and, and come in here I mean I think it's really cool when you're busy or not or not busy and you come in here and there's a customer right here for you waiting for you uh, make sure you confirm the appointment um, if you don't want to take the appointment be nice and and, and, and email them back let them know uh, it's going to give you the option to accept or decline when you click on decline it's going to pop up to tell you 
uh, to email them and let them know why you cannot, whether you're busy or you're booked for that week. Um, two more features I want to talk about for the regular appointments. Um, number one is when you add a new appointment, let's say I'm adding an appointment. So usually this happens over the phone. Most appointments are happening over the phone. So you have, there's two ways, appointments online now, which is we cover it automatically, and appointments over the phone. Appointments over the phone, let's say somebody gave me a phone number. That phone number doesn't exist. It's a new customer. Uh, what's your name? Always, if even if it says he's a new customer, do ask uh, if he is a new. Have you been here before? Don't just you know go by is a new customer because a lot of sometimes people do change their phone number. I don't know why, but things happen, so they do. Let's say he said his name is Sam and Smith, last name. Now always, always, always from now on, ask for a plate, license plate. Uh, what are you asking for? What, what year is it? What were you in 1970s? It's, it's a different era right now. Ask what's the license plate? I don't know the license plate. Go grab it. Go grab it. License plate is a public information. When you're driving around, uh, everybody can see your license plate. I don't understand why people have the, the stigma, but uh, I don't want to give you that's private. Private what? Uh, the, the cops or uh, the cops have it. Uh, FBI have it, uh, anybody can have it. <laughs> it's a public information. So what's the license plate? They give you a license plate. You can type, if you, you notice when, when I, when I, if I, it was saying vehicle. Vehicle and license plate as com are combined right now. Instead of, of asking what year is it, 2010, Jeep, I don't want to do that first. Let me try to get the license plate first. What's the license plate? Sumi said, I don't know. Um, SRT, let's say, SRT and press enter. Just type in the license plate and press enter. What happens is it's going to decode it automatically and it's going to add the vehicle automatically, which is pretty cool. If I add, remember now we have a new customer and we have a new vehicle right now. If I click on add appointment and if I go back to Sam Smith, VIP added the, 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 the new customer and the new uh, and the new vehicle automatically again, so which is really another good uh, important information with the main uh, inspection right here. So VIP will, will handle this automatically from now on. We'll check if the customer already exists, if the vehicle already exists, if they don't exist, it will add them. But this will only happen if there's a license plate, which is mean there's only happen if there's a VIN number. We're not just going to add uh, the customer like that so um, I think it's pretty cool take advantage like I said don't be stuck on uh, uh, like you know we have some customers right now which just bugs me so much where they're using VIP shop management and they don't want to subscribe for anything and they're just um, they're just left behind and um, I, I understand maybe at some point people will subscribe just don't be watching from out, from far away. Be part of it. Use it. If it doesn't make you money, then don't use it. But don't make an, assi an ass uh, assumption that it's not going to make you money. The people who are subscribing, they're not stupid. The people who are subscribing and, and making money and, and cashing out on it, they're not stupid. Always, before you judge, try. And this feature alone, if we can bring you one customer a month and you made $500 of, uh, uh, out of that customer, right? And now you paid, let's say, you paid uh, VIP forty dollars, and uh, and the other guy, I'm talking one customer a month, and the other guy did not do that, and he didn't get the customer, so meaning he didn't make the five hundred dollars. Instead of making four sixty, you uh, and instead of you thinking in your head you saved forty dollars, actually you lost four hundred and sixty dollars. So keep that keep that in mind. Number two, I believe some people like don't like it to see us growing. I don't understand that mentality either. This is a business. Uh, we want to grow. We want to get big. If you're not moving forward, you're moving backward. This is the rules. I don't make the rules. I just follow the rules. If you're not moving forward, you're moving backward. If you're not growing, you're dying. Uh, that's part of it. Uh, VIP will, will continue on growing, bringing new features. Um, if we want to get paid for certain things, we want to get paid for certain things. 
Uh, we have to. The company has to make money. I don't understand that mentality of people. Like they're surprised that uh, that we don't want to do tech support unless you know you have subscription. Uh, basically, you're asking what you're asking. The same thing that you're asking for your business to serve your people for free it doesn't work. Uh, measure it on yourself before you ask, and measure it on other people. Uh, we're just because we're not forcing you to subscribe. You, yeah, you don't have to subscribe, but don't force your stuff on us by requesting certain things, and you don't want to subscribe. Come up with the, with the, with, the, with whatever. Like, hey, I can't do this, or I don't need. Uh, the, I heard a couple things. I, I don't need text message messaging. But, and I don't need uh, uh, online ordering, but I do need tech support. It doesn't make any sense. Then it's fine. Go ahead and subscribe for tech support. And I don't have to use it. Again, it doesn't work. It's a, it's a handshake, like somebody says. I, I spoke to one of my customers, man. He's one of those that he doesn't want to subscribe, but he did subscribe. I asked him one question. When you have a problem and, and the VIP is not working, who do you call? He said, I need to call you. I was like, okay, subscribe then. And he did subscribe. Some people like it. I don't know, man. They just don't don't understand, don't get it. Um, you want support. You want people. You want somebody to call and help you when you need help, especially for a business. You gotta pay for us to continue and grow, and we gotta make money. It's it's a handshake, like he said. He's like, you wanna do a handshake with me? I was like, yeah, I do wanna do a handshake. That's how it works. Um, anyway, for for uh, our for the people who subscribe, we really appreciate it. We continue on serving you. We're gonna make sure that I always try to figure a way of whatever money you're paying, you're getting like it's worth paying. So whatever you pay, like this feature right now, um, adding uh, bringing your appointment directly to VIP, that's a huge a huge feature. Um, well, for VIP itself, we're always adding features uh, for free anyway. It's not like we're asking people for money to get. When we do updates, we never ask for money. And the, the hilarious part about it is when I used to own a shop, and every time I wanted to update my scanner, from, uh, which is every six months, right? Uh, I had to pay $1,000 from Snap-on. So we're not Snap-on, we're not Microsoft, we're just a small company, and we do want to make money somehow, some way. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.